CNP Featured Research. This is your diet mental health break. Two minutes to learn and be good to yourself. Can a brief three-week healthy dietary intervention reduce symptoms of depression in young adults? Let's find out. Research shows that adolescents and young adults generally eat too much of the wrong types of foods and too little of the right kinds of foods. They're also at an increased risk for depression. Dr. Heather Francis and her colleagues wanted to find out if eating more healthy foods and less unhealthy foods could reduce depression in young people in just three weeks. Participants in the study were undergraduate students who regularly consumed a poor diet and who were experiencing moderate or higher levels of depression. 38 participants were separated into two groups, one engaging in the healthy eating intervention and one remaining in the poor diet group. Participants in the healthy eating group were instructed to increase their intake of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, protein, unsweetened dairy, fish, nuts and seeds, olive oil and healthy spices, and to decrease their intake of refined carbohydrates, sugars, fatty or processed meats, and soft drinks. After the three-week trial, their depression levels were again tested, as was their adherence to the dietary intervention. The group that ate the high healthy, low junk food diet had significantly lowered depression scores than the group who ate the poor diet. The results were followed up three months later and remained stable. So what now? This study has contributed to our knowledge that eating better can lead to feeling better and that mental health interventions of the future could include a dietary component. And that is nutritional psychology. Our question to you is, what will you eat to feel better today? Thanks to Dr. Heather Francis and her colleagues for conducting this research. Learn and be good to yourself. This diet mental health break is brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, CNP.